Hello and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pop TV. I'm your host, EJW, and I'm back with another crime news episode spotlighting this new series I cut across called Black Girls News. Let's get into it. If you, if you wait on him, I promise you he's coming. Uh, if you wait on him, I promise you he won't make sense. Uh, see, you still tripping because you lost your job. You still tripping and disappointed and mad because y'all broke up and you don't understand it. And you, you, you still driving by his house checking to see if there's another car there. Yeah. You still hurt. You still in your feelings. You still all on Facebook telling your mom. Mama, telling your daddy, telling everybody how he hurt you. Oh, you still uh, see things for where they are now. But tell somebody, just hang on a little while uh, and live a little bit longer. Uh, and it's going to all make sense. Uh, oh, when he can expose, uh, it's going to all make sense why God didn't want you with him. Uh, it'll make sense. Old folks just say, live long enough. You may not understand now, but tell somebody you'll understand it later. Last night, two people, including the pastor of Bright Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church, Danny Purnell Jr., were taken to the hospital after a shooting at a hotel in Macomb, Mississippi. A couple has been transported to the University of Mississippi Medical Center after an incident at a hotel. News Channel 5 has learned that the alleged suspect, Danny Purnell Jr., the pastor of Bright Morning Star, may now be facing charges. Just days before the incident, Danny left a haunting post saying he was not perfect on social media. Now his wife is fighting for her life and this entire act happened in front of their children. So this black man the pastor was just saying this good things in in the, in the church about uh, how this and how that and all of a sudden now he's the one that's doing this this is crazy Gabby Purnell is 27 years old and lives in Louisiana. She is a vibrant and loving woman known for her beautiful smile and kind heart. Gabby is a joy to everyone she is blessed to be around. And Louisiana is where she met and fell in love with her husband, a pastor at a local church. Danny Purnell is 25 years old and from Alexandria, Louisiana. According to Facebook, Danny is a former sheriff deputy who left the department in December 2022. Currently, he is a pastor at Bright Morningstar Missionary Baptist Church, one of the oldest black Baptist churches in Pineville, Louisiana. He ties Isaac up well, and he lays him on the wood. Oh well, yes, it is. Abraham grabs the knife yeah, yeah. and he's getting ready to kill his son like God has told him to. Oh well, yes, it is. And Sarah's baby is out of her sight. And her baby is literally tied up in something. Yeah, yeah. Let me pause parenthetically and say the true reason that. So did he just say that God told somebody in the Bible to kill somebody else in the Bible? Or am I tripping? Well, let's move on. This is not what this is about. Many of you worry about your children is because they are tied up in some stuff. Uh, uh, you can be honest. Uh, uh, you ain't been saved all your life either. And, and you've been tied up in some stuff before. But, but, but watch the text. Verse 11 says, An angel of the Lord said, Abraham, do not touch him. Now I know that you fear God. Oh, some of y'all miss it. He's about to kill the boy. The boy can't do nothing because he's tied up in something that he can't get himself out of. But an angel speaks. And so God has two people in his defense. An angel that comes out of nowhere. And an individual that he has placed around him that can hear the voice of God. 
couple married in 2015 and together they have three beautiful children. Everything seemed to be perfect. The two even shared a Facebook account. Most posts were about God, love, and family. Alexandria is where it all began. You remember know that? Yes. Remember, uh, listen, last time we came here, it was just me and you. I was pregnant with Kate. We was on the train. Y'all, the fish, they sold out of the fish food. They can only eat so much, they're going to end up like me. <laughs> On April 6, Purnell paid tribute to his wife on her birthday, calling her my queen and the woman I love and owe my life to. Danny also shared many personal messages about getting married at 17 with no instructions, just knowing he found the love of his life. But he said it was unfortunate how religious teaching he was persuaded to believe resulted in marital issues. Those conversations led to other messages about his childhood, work life, and ministry over the years. But it was his last post that had everyone uneased. In a Facebook post from the Hampton Inn Hotel where the unfortunate incident occurred, Danny captioned a picture with his wife and kids saying, I'm not a perfect man, but I'll always be a family man. Two days after that post, Danny shot his wife in that very hotel. As of today, his wife is still in the hospital fighting for her life and their church members are worried. Members of the Bright Morning Star Baptist Church in Pineville are shocked and saddened at the news that their lead pastor reportedly shot his wife in front of his three children before turning the in Mississippi. Church members met for their regular Friday prayer meeting and I spoke with a few of the deacons who were not ready to go on camera until they knew more details about the incident. But they said that church members are devastated by the news and are in prayer for the family. Marvin Marzette Sr. lives close to the church and is astonished by the incident. It's a shocker. Uh, surprised the daylights out of me when I first heard about it because from what I understood he was a fine guy, uh, a fine preacher. And I did uh, hear him preach one time and uh, enjoyed the sermon. So again, it was just very surprising that, you know, to even hear that news that he did that. Uh, I hope everything go well with them. I know they're in a lot of pain and stuff right now, suffering and, you know, I'm pretty sure it's unbelievable, you know, that for uh, their they father to do something like that. But again, you know, just stay strong, believe in God, and, and they'll, they'll pull through it. The devastating incident occurred on June 21st around 3.30 p.m. Danny is alleged to have shot his wife twice, then himself. A picture from the scene published by the Enterprise Journal showed blood-stained floors close to the elevators in the hotel lobby. Again, both were rushed to the University of Mississippi Medical Center and Gabby had to be airlifted. Authorities said she was shot in her abdomen and the arm. Danny is alleged to be in stable condition, but once he is released from the hospital, police said he will be charged with several felonies. Police said they are investigating this incident as a DV incident. Currently, their children are in the custody of Child Protective Services. At this time, they are still investigating this incident and officials are asking anyone with information to contact their local authorities or Macomb police. I need everyone to keep Gabby in your thoughts and prayers and just pray that she pushes through and keep fighting. I continue to think about the children at this time and I hope and pray that they're okay. This story has been on every social media site and there's been a lot of discussions going on about this incident. You guys, let me know your thoughts and your opinions down below. Let's please respect the victim and the family in the comments. I love you guys. And with that being said, please don't forget to check on your loved ones. I have, I'm speechless. I can't believe that this man has shot himself and his wife. But they didn't give us a motive of why. And, and, and I guess once he get arrested, that'll come out. But for at this moment, it's not being said. Um, I'm, I'm really proud of this lady for making this channel because this channel is well needed and I'm going to try to keep I'm going to try to get in contact with her see if I can keep recapping these things because some people like to copyright and um, if she gets a hold to this or see this 
give me a call, uh, give me a, uh, uh, give me one of my comments or anything, because I enjoy the, watching these because they really need to put the spotlight on our black women being destroyed by whoever is destroying them. Thank you again for watching. I'm NJW. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and go and check out her channel. And I'm going to do as many recaps as, as I'm allowed to do. But go and check out her channel. It's called Black Women's. Uh, and you'll really enjoy it if you're into that type of stuff. But I'm, uh, you know, it's sad, but it, this is the reality that we live in. Thanks for watching.